uh, kind of riffing off of the first episode, today I want to talk to you about a specific subject, and that is why my dogs always decide to start playing when I start recording a video. So I'm going to make a whole five minute video about this. Thank you for accidentally tuning in. This is episode two of Table Talks with Table Knots. I'm your host, my name is Max, and I really want to go ahead and talk about the feedback and support you all gave to episode one. It means a lot. Clearly, it's something you all want to see, and it's something that I also want to do. Not only just to talk about whatever I want, but also to get to know you a little bit better down in the comments, and so you can get to know me a little bit better as well. Today, I want to talk about what board game or games got us into the hobby. So the short answer for me is quite simple. It's Catan. Catan and, to a lesser extent, Munchkin are really what showed me what this hobby has to offer, and it really opened up the vast amount of experiences that you can get from cardboard on a table. Now... My family played a lot of board games growing up, nothing crazy, a little bit of Disney seen it, a little bit of Clue, a little bit of Monopoly, and although I do still fancy a game of Clue on occasion, I don't really like those games that much anymore, and that is part of what I want to talk about today. I'm not a board gamer because of Catan. I'm not a board gamer because of Munchkin. I'm a board gamer because of the experiences that I had growing up and through now when I play board games. Those, those times that I played Seen It with my brother and my parents. Those times that I whipped everyone's butt in Clue. Those times that I got my heart crushed playing Monopoly because taxes ruined me. Those experiences are what led me to this hobby. Without those experiences, I wouldn't be here with with all this, with a hunk of cardboard behind me, talking into a microphone and a camera with no one sitting in front of me, but yet at the same time, speaking to all of you. It's weird. I didn't expect this. I just wanted to share my love and enjoyment with board games because frankly, the people around me are tired of hearing about it. But that's why I'm here. Because I like to think that maybe you care a little bit more if you searched board games on YouTube or found me on Twitter. Maybe you want to talk to me about your board game hobby. And maybe I want to know what game got you started. And do you think that it was the game, for example, Catan, or the experiences that you had? Because to me, if it weren't Catan, it would have been something else. It wasn't Catan. It was the right place, the right time, and the right people that really got me playing over and over again and really enjoying the experiences that I had. Sure, Catan helped with that, but it was really just the avenue. It wasn't the car that was driving me there, if that makes any sense at all. What do you think was the game, or what were the reasons that you got into the hobby of board games? Or if you haven't gotten into the hobby yet, if you just play board games, or if you're just my family who are like the ultimate fan club that watches everything I produce, good or bad, thank you, by the way, then what is it that you've either A, enjoyed, or B, not enjoyed about board games? Because, frankly, I've enjoyed almost everything. It's the experience at a table surrounded by your friends, surrounded by your family. It's nothing else even comes close. I love video games. Truly, I do. The experience in, in video games are oftentimes unmatched to what can actually be put on a table, but the physical representation of the components and the staring across a table at your loved ones or your friends is what makes all the difference. Again, it's not Catan. That's not what did it for me. It was the experiences as a whole. So I'm curious. I'd love to know. Do you credit your enjoyment in the board game hobby to a particular game? Or do you credit it to experience as a whole and everything you've gone through that leads you up to this point? Because for me, it's the latter. There's no particular game that... When I think of my eyes glow and the skies open up, that's just not a thing for me. I love board games, but frankly, I like a lot of board games. There's not one in particular that really absolutely just punches me in the gut and said, Hey, I'm the reason that you're here. No, nothing like that. But do you 
attribute it to a game. Have you played games your whole life and then played one that was just like mind-blowing? This is why you're here. This is why this hobby's so good. Or do you think it's just a culmination of everything you've experienced? I'm sure it's both. I'm sure it's either. I'm sure there's probably those like my family who it's neither. (laughs) But regardless, what game or what experience do you attribute your enjoyment and your enthusiasm into the board game hobby to? Again, for me, short answer, Catan. Long answer, everything. That's it. I don't know. Everything. I love board games. I love sharing my passion for that. And if that's why you're here, I thank you for that. And if that's not why you're here, well, I I thank you for that too. I'm rambling at this point, so I'm probably just going to cut off the... What game got you into the hobby? Or what do you attribute it to? Leave an answer down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Join me next time on Table Thoughts with table knots. Thanks so much.